What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I finally had a chance to check out the Hell in a Cell match between Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio on SmackDown. I was actually very confused by this. I don't know why they moved this match to SmackDown. Um, if you guys know the actual reason why they moved this match to SmackDown and not have it on the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, comment down below. Let me know because I'm actually confused here. Let me be honest with you. It just it doesn't make sense to put this type of match on SmackDown. I don't even think there's ever been a Hell in a Cell match on like a on like just a regular branded show raw or smackdown it's usually on a pay-per-view not just on the actual weekly television show so that's a first i i, I want to say that is the first time that's happened but it it doesn't make sense to do now i know aew had some type of cage match like a ufc ufc style cage match so i don't know if it was them trying to compete with aew on that front but this match should have strictly happen on the hell in a cell pay-per-view not the like the day before two days before and uh, they tried to go with the excuse like roman uh ray couldn't wait until uh sunday so he wanted to get his hands on roman now and they moved up the match no i've seen feuds blood feuds like intense feuds in wwe where they were trying to kill each other on the weekly show and somehow they was able to wait till Sunday to get the match going. So now, all of a sudden, if the wrestler wants to move up the match, they can just move it up. Like, I, I don't know, man. So I I did. I wasn't a big fan of it being on SmackDown. I just think that's something you should have put on a pay-per-view. And I'm going to really give my thoughts and opinions on this match. Uh, I took notes here. Um, and I'm going to just kind of break it down uh, how I was feeling at the time. And um, kind of let you guys know on where i think the match could have been better and where they could have taken this storyline so all right so the match starts off ray starts using a steel chair you know trying to get into early uh early shots in then ray goes under the ring uses a fire extinguisher then ray hits roman with a toolbox and then ray starts hitting roman with uh with the chair again uh against the ribs like ray started off this match very aggressive it was very Ray dominant offense. I even like the segment where Ray had uh, Roman's head, like you know, in the seat of the chair. He's just ramming it, ramming him into like the the cell, the the ring post. Like Ray was showing some aggressiveness, and I was loving that. Um, then he uh, places uh, the chair on Roman's spine and hits a baseball slide. I thought that was a nice little cool spot where Roman sitting on the apron. Ray has the chair. Uh, propped up against his back in the ropes the bottom ropes and he hits a baseball slide it was a nice little spot man and um ray was starting to show the vicious side this is what we should have been seeing this is what we should have been seeing outside the ring if you attack my son i'm not here to talk to you like i don't like anytime i see you it, you could be doing an interview you could be walking in the hallway i'm going to attack you that's what it should have been to really ramp up this feud because anybody attacking my child whether you know what i'm saying i'm there or not oh i'm gonna make sure i end you you know so i was loving the vicious side from ray and I, I put in my notes at this particular time i still don't understand why this match can't be on sunday but you know i'm, I'm, I'm very confused by that um then roman spears a table placed on the edge in the corner of the hell in the cell but uh ray dodges it and roman goes straight to the table i was like okay like ray is still getting the upper hand um i like this little spot like when uh, uh, ray was trying to go for uh, i want to say a hurricanrana but roman was able to keep keep him in place he wasn't you know he didn't allow his momentum to be shifted and he started swinging ray like just a just a sack of potatoes just against the cell then against the other wall of the cell just over and over and then i like this nice little spot where i i want to say he was about to like he lifts him up in the power bomb position but he ends up just throwing ray against the hell in the cell it was a cool little spot ray got a little bit of height and it, it works that ray is the smaller guy because they can do some you know nicer spots um 
they get back into the ring roman starts hitting ray with vicious knees vicious punches in the corner then uh ray starts whooping his ass with the steel chair again he was going in then he places the steel chair on top of roman while he's laying on his back goes to the top rope hits a frog splash frog splash while ray is while roman is laying you know laying on the ground with the steel chair on top of him now yeah it's a cool spot but ray couldn't make the cover because he hurt himself like i've always liked that spot but i always knew that spot doesn't make sense for the person that's actually hitting the move because to be honest with you i think it hurts the person more that's jumping onto it because they're fully extended so there's really no way to soften the blow you know what i'm saying so i never really understood that spot but ray couldn't capitalize on the uh, pin so he goes up to the top rope again hits him with another splash but for two count um Roman, uh, then this is when Roman starts getting up in his offense, man. This is when Roman starts getting in his bag. <laughs> I, I find this funny. It shouldn't be funny, bro. But Roman throws Rey Mysterio outside the ring like he did Dominic. He just launches him into the cell wall. He falls out of the camera shot. And you hear Paul him and, oh, my God. The announcers are selling it like... <laughs> that ray just got murdered it's just a funny spot to me to see this grown-ass man throw another grown-ass man into oblivion so r.i.p ray at that moment he was he was with his son in the gulag ray and dominic were both in the gulag at this point man and then he gets uh ray back in the ring he applies the guillotine and Ray immediately taps out. He doesn't even pass out. They just have my man tap out. He's like, hey, I'm out of here. So he taps out. You know, Roman talking his trash. Acknowledge me. Yada, yada, yada. And Ray is trying to get up after the match is over. And then uh, Roman applies the guillotine again. And has Ray, you know, pretty much tap out immediately and throw him to the ground. And then, you know, he's uh, holding up the championship above his head. And, you know, talking his trash like, acknowledge me. And that's how the show goes off air um like i said i don't think this match should have happened um honestly not it shouldn't have happened on smackdown let me say that and i don't think this should have been a hell in a cell that is my biggest thing i want to put out when i was watching this match i was like this is this is an enjoyable match for sure does this need to be a hell in a cell no this didn't need to be a hell in a cell one I'm not buying that Ray is going to beat Roman because they haven't built it up for me to buy into that. At least with all of Roman's other opponents, they kind of built up a storyline that it could possibly be done. The last Hell in a Cell Roman was in was with Jimmy Uso. Or no, it was with Jay Uso. And that match made sense for it to be in the hell in a cell because it was family related and that was it was it was definitely more brutal more intense and i enjoyed that match a lot more than ray versus roman in hell in a cell um this just didn't need it you could have had this match on the pay-per-view for sunday and like i said earlier in the video had ray really be aggressive had it to the beat like ray's trying to destroy roman like you know and could have had like a, a stipulation match like a no disqualification like ray doesn't want a match there's certain feuds and certain things that happen in wrestling where it's like i don't want no match with you i'm not trying to follow the rules i'm trying to end your career so you know what let's have this stipulated match whatever stipulated match and we go from there because you did something that is like now personal and i want to end you and that's would have been perfect you know what i'm saying but instead they they wanted to go hell in a cell and then they decided to pull this match from the hell in a cell pay-per-view to put on smackdown and i just don't think it worked this probably and be honest with you <clears throat> out of all of the roman reigns matches i've seen this will probably be my least favorite and it's not even a bad match it's not it's just i feel like the storyline was kind of rushed they didn't really build it as enough because they started with the jimmy and jay storyline so i was thinking they were going with that they went with this and i i really wanted more from from ray here in the sense of really getting pissed off and really trying to end this man's career like granted he did attack him i want to say 
was it last week he did attacking with the kendo stick and stuff and i thought that that was pretty cool and all this other stuff but at the same time I, i'm you know they kind of rushed into this to get ready for the hell himself pay-per-view and it wasn't even on the pay-per-view so and now that was the one match i was looking forward to on the pay-per-view that's not going to be on the pay-per-view so i'm being honest with you guys <clears throat> i don't think i'm going to do a thoughts and opinions video on this pay-per-view i'm just being honest with you i don't really care for a lot of the other matches especially the the smackdown side of things now i i would be interested in seeing uh sammy Zayn and kevin owens just a little bit but <clears throat> the smackdown side of, or the, i mean not smackdown the raw side of things i don't care for smackdown side of things i'm a little bit more interested in the only thing i really wanted to see was roman versus ray but it's already happened so i'm not going to do a thoughts and opinion video but i think i want to switch it up for the first time i think i'm going to go live while the pay-per-view is live and I, i'm not going to be able to show the pay-per-view footage obviously but i'll have it on in the background i'll go live with you guys and we'll just be in the chat chopping it up with each other just you know watching the pay-per-view together <clears throat> i think that would be a much enjoyable experience for me personally instead of me taking notes on a pay-per-view i don't even really too much care about but with you guys being in the chat we're being able to have a good time you know joke around with whatever's going on in the pay-per-view and stuff like that i think it would make it a lot more enjoyable so comment down below let me know if you guys want me to go live on youtube for the first time to check out this pay-per-view with you guys if that would be something you guys want me to do i would definitely do that for you guys just so we can have some type of fun and entertainment while we watch this pay-per-view because i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think it's gonna be that good especially that roman is not even on the card i just don't i don't think it's gonna be that good in my personal opinion so comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy this match uh on smackdown or did, would you guys have preferred this match to been on the hell in a cell pay-per-view and also comment down below let me know if you guys would like for me to go live on youtube so you know we can watch the pay-per-view together i would love your thoughts and opinions on everything i just talked about appreciate all the love and support roll to 50k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace